Kenya, Kenya ni yule mwenye kutenda haki kwa watu wote. The Office of the Auditor General OAG in Kenya is a supreme audit institution. It is established under Article 229 of the Constitution of Kenya 2010. As an independent institution, the office watches over the use of Kenya's public resources. The Kenyans were telling us or me in that constitution and the, my mandate is that they want the Auditor General not only to, first of all, to find out how the money has been budgeted, how it has been recorded, and how it has been managed, but more importantly, whether it has reached the impact, whether it's impacted the, the ordinary person, a Kenyan, on the ground. As Kenya's first Auditor General under the Constitution of Kenya 2010, Mr. Edward Ouko has effectively steered the office to witness tremendous milestones. Transparency International has increasingly worked closely with the Auditor General, uh, primarily from an accountability perspective. We understand the place of the Auditor General in a democracy, and in our case, we pretty much understand the role that uh, that office plays in ensuring that there is accountability for public resources in this country. So we have worked on social accountability, which is an area of mutual interest um, as a beginning point. But we've also acted to protect the office of the Auditor General against unwarranted political attacks in the last five years. To achieve its mandate, the Office of the Auditor General has invested in recruitment and training of staff for efficiency in the ever-changing audit environment. What we have seen over the years is uh, first an improvement in terms of the capacity that has been developed. We have, uh, we have seen the strengthening of the office in Yeri. That means that uh, we are able to have the audit carried from close uh, quarters and that means that uh, it's more intensive and more interactive. And uh, whenever there are any issues that need to be responded to, they are less to in a very convenient uh, uh, way. We've also seen an improvement in timelines. Um, we, for example, the last audit, the auditors came with very clear timelines on when they would be visiting the university, when we, uh, basically, when they would basically address the various aspects of the audit process, and they complied with that. The AMS program uh, system has actually improved the audit time, which means that we are able to plan, to execute, and actually review and implement the, 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 the audit with the little resources that we have. Devolution is anchored in the Constitution of Kenya 2010. The Auditor General has really done a landmark for this region where we never had the dream of having an office in this region. Even in our wildest dream, in the north and the far end of the country, uh, he gave us the priority to be, uh, to have the, the opportunity uh, to be given the, the first building in the office of the Auditor General. The Office of the Auditor General, in keeping in line with this principle, devolved itself to take its services closer to the people. Unlike in the past when the office of the Auditor General was housed in various offices, most of the time rented premises, the situation has now changed and OAG is housed in its own premises, for example in Garissa and Kakamega. In several other towns, the offices are under construction or towards completion. Mombasa Hub uh, is um, housed in three different locations. We have um, this office here at the Kenya Ports Authority, where I'm situated. We've been housed here since 1953. We have the other location at uh, Kenya Revenue Authority office in the heart of Mombasa town. And we have um, the other office at Bima.
Bima Towers. We also have um, another office at NSSF, which uh, currently we are using for archiving our records. The location has brought uh, challenges. I'm glad to report that we are at advanced stages of securing a piece of plot so that the three offices can be consolidated, thereby improving efficiency. For a long time, auditing was carried out manually. This was a tedious process that led to delays in reporting on audit findings. On the side of audit, he has introduced automated audit technology that currently we are using, teammate, and every staff is equipped with a laptop. And that has enabled us to do away with the backlog. All our clients are current. If you are talking of 2017-18, that is what the only year that we are addressing. The office embarked on automation of the audit process, which consequently resulted in a significant reduction in the time taken for submission of audit reports. That the Public Accounts Committee acts only on the basis of the reports of the Auditor General. And that therefore means that uh, uh, the work of the Auditor General is critical for the functioning of the Public Accounts Committee. The Auditor General has got constitutional timelines uh, within which he operates uh, in so far as uh, the production of his reports is concerned. The Office of the Auditor General is very important for the work that the Commission is doing in the sense that, one, they are a source of report that inform our, our event investigations in um, both the national and county governments. And a lot of good reports have come forth that have informed very good investigations which are at various stages. So those audit reports are key to the Commission's work. The Office of the Auditor General, OAG, fully automated its audit systems through an audit management system anchored on TeamMate. The investment we put in both people, in, in information technology and the capacity building, I can only say that this office is now positioned to audit in what we call in the future, future digital, digitized environment. Appreciate what you have done for us. In terms of remuneration of staff, we have come from far. I was employed in 2011, and by the time I was coming in, when I'm looking at my net then and now, I surely when I go to the bank, I smile sometimes. <laughs> because we are very grateful for that. When we came in, we have seen our star, the medical. The medical is enhanced because we used to go, like dental, used to go, pay for that, then wait for claim. But nowadays, we just go, remove your smart card, you say what you want, and your payment is done. So that efficiency, we really appreciate it. We'll, we will not also forget the car, and you know the parking now at KBC is full because we are able to take loans and we are able to drive as other people. Even the people, they used to look at us and sometimes when you go to the client, they look at you the way you are working and they are wondering. But nowadays, even when we step into that entry meeting, they know that also we also have an employer who really takes good care for us because we get in there like we also staff the authority. So we can't forget to appreciate that. OAG is currently training staff to audit using data analytics approach to result in better audits. We are also doing reports which looks at efficiencies, efficiency, economy, and effectiveness with which Kenyan money is being employed or used. So we have a very robust department which is really just looking at those areas. And these are what we call performance audit reports. And we've now excelled so much in that that in a competition for the for performance audit report, which is done by other auditors general in the English speaking, we have won the award of the best performance audit reports twice, in 2015 and 2017. And that is, 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 a, is a demonstration of the quality of our audit staff, the quality of an analytical uh, uh, capacity uh, of our staff.
my first interaction with you was actually on the IFF audits um, where we were doing the uh, collaborated audits with um, the, the, the AfroSci and you were leading um, and you, you, that's where I met you and you inspired me. And when I was finally appointed uh, or confirmed um, in Kenya, um, you, you confirmed your interaction with me and um, you also emphasized that the confidence that you have in me and it really inspired me as well and we've traveled the journey together and um, you have demonstrated that you trust what AfroSci is doing, you've worked with us and especially the support that we get from you in relation to the resources that we get um, that has contributed quite a lot in the growth that we are seeing in AfroSci E. Specifically, um, the recent interaction um, between Vainand and myself on the strategic plan, paving the path for the future that you will not be part of, but you are so passionate about how we need to grow AfroSci E. For me, that definitely stood out, and I would like to thank you for that. Auditors in OAG are also using the budget as a core control tool in the audit process. As an independent institution charged with a critical oversight role of ensuring that Kenyans get value for their taxes, the Office of the Auditor General, championing for accountability, has a warm heart and smooth relations with the media as a way of sharing audit findings with the general public. The Office has published a media handbook that guides journalists to mine stories from audit findings and report them effectively, accurately, and objectively. The office has also invested in media workshops that sensitize journalists on the audit process and technical audit terminologies. Kenya's Office of the Auditor General believes that for democracy to thrive, there must be equitable distribution of resources, effective use of those resources, and full absorption. With this in mind, the office plans its activities guided by an organizational strategic plan. The performance of the Auditor General has won recognition not only in Kenya, but also at international level. The office has won several awards and honors for various achievements, key among them, Award for Best Performance Audit Reports in the African Region. Although the Office of the Auditor General has made tremendous milestones, the journey has not been easy. So the first challenge was getting the trust of the staff, making sure the staff are comfortable with me. And that was not easy because a lot of apprehension within the staff was, was there. Uh, and uh, a lot of people were still in one looking difficult to reach, inculcate uh, uh, an environment of trust between me and the staff. This office uh, was running very much in a silo type of uh, model, in the sense that there were staff who were just specialized in auditing, say local authorities. There were staff who were for years just saying we are auditing what you call corporations or saying that they are auditing um, ministries. So you had silos. You never had an office which was speaking professionally in, within itself. So it was important immediately to see how we can restructure the office and break down the silos. Once you are an auditor, you should be an auditor to audit whether you are put in a local authority setting or in a, what you call a parastatal setting or indeed a ministry setting. We have had challenges, especially at the advent of devolution, because uh, as you are aware, the history of this country is that for a long time, we had a unitary system of government, and we also had a unicameral parliament, where the Auditor General would report to only one house, or one chamber of parliament. With the advent of the 2010 constitution, the Auditor General is now required to submit reports to the National Assembly, to the Senate, and even to county assemblies. The Auditor General is also expected to do audits on national governments and county government entities. When the new constitution 
came into force, particularly the provisions on devolution, uh, which came into force with the elections of 2013, uh, it was a challenge to all institutions, including the Office of the Auditor General. Looking back at the Office of the Auditor General before the promulgation of the Constitution of Kenya 2010 and its current standing, it is evident that deliberate measures have meticulously been put in place to see proper use of Kenya's resources. The Office of the Auditor General in the last um, uh, you know, couple of years, in the last six years in particular, has been um, quite uh, uh, forthcoming in providing its reports on time. This is now, I think this year, uh, the reports are, all, are actually on time. Uh, we coming from a history where Auditor General's reports would be two, three years late. Kenya is a country on the first lane to middle economy. To achieve this, the Office of the Auditor General plays a pivotal role as an independent institution in enhancing accountability through its oversight role. This office needs to be adequately resourced so as to achieve its constitutional mandate. A more reliable oversight will result in better financial management for good of all Kenyans in provision of timely service. As the curtains fall on the term of the current Auditor General, Mr. Edward Ouko, he should walk tall, knowing that Kenyans appreciated his work while at the helm by setting unparalleled precedents in putting the government and public funded entities to account for public resources. Tunashukuru sana kazi ya auditor Lenya anafanya. Upizadi ilikuwa imekidhiri sana Kenya kwa kila county lakini amefanya kazi nzuri. Anaendelea kungangana na tunaomba aendelee hivyo hivyo. Pesa yetu irudi kazi ikuwe mzuri. The independence of the office of the Auditor General should be safeguarded by all for the good of all Kenyan citizens.